Splatoon is an amazing franchise with almost a hundred different weapons, and with there being so many different weapons, someone has to rank them. So I'm here today to rank my top five favorite Splatoon weapons out of every category in Splatoon. Uh, of course, I'm not a pro at Splatoon, I'm only S rank, so this is not going to be an expert opinion, but if you are just looking for, you know, a good opinion on which weapon is best, then stay tuned to the end, and also make sure to like this video and share it with your friends if they are also Splatoon lovers. Let's get started with ranking my top 5 favorite weapons in Splatoon. Real quick guys, if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, now is a perfect time to do so. I don't have a lot of subscribers and I need help getting this channel off the ground. If you guys can just subscribe, one subscription, that would be great. Thank you guys so much. Starting off with number 5, the Dark Tetra Duelies. Their range is pretty decent and they have four rolls. The rolls have lag time at the end, which makes you vulnerable for a certain amount of time, but if you can learn to use those rolls like I have, then you can pretty much master the weapon and learn how to use it. It has the killer whale, or not killer whale, it has the reef slider, which is great for getting out there and then once you're done using it, roll around while they're all distracted, and you can throw some auto bombs out there. If you can get sub saver on your gear, then you can throw two auto bombs out there and roll around with your weapon, attacking people. Uh, it's an amazing weapon, and in my opinion, one of the best. Of course, this is only at five because it does take some skill to master it. Moving on, number four, the Clash Blaster. A lot of people are going to hate on this, but I think it is definitely deserving of the fourth best. Its range is not very good, but if you can get two direct hits, it'll kill them instantly. It takes, of course, like four undirect hits to kill them from far away, but if you can get at least one of those hits on them, then it's only three hits, which is actually a lot faster than you might think. I have mastered this weapon, and I think that it's actually a pretty easy weapon to master, which is why it's actually ahead of the Dark Tetra Duelies because it's easy to master, and you can pull out the Jazooka for some easy kills at the end there. The bomb is amazing, definitely the best sub in the game. You can sneak that behind a wall where they never see it, or throw it on the ground when they jump down, and explode them with it. I think this weapon is absolutely deserving of 4, and, you know, it, a lot of people hate it, they're gonna say that it's not true, but try it out for yourself, you know, Take into consideration whatever you want to take into consideration, but I think it's deserving of 4. Number 3, the 96 gal Deco. Its range is incredible, and it has Ink Wall and Kraken. Uh, I'm actually not extremely well with this weapon. You can definitely two-tap people with it, or just hold down on the button, and it inks decently well. I, I'm not extremely good at this weapon, but I have a couple pretty pro Splatoon player friends who can make this weapon just destroy teams. So yeah, basically I do have a couple tips for you if you're wanting to use this weapon. Don't jump a lot because the accuracy gets wider as you can see up there by the crosshair. It just gets a little bit less accurate. And don't hold down on the weapon backing up trying to attack people. Just go in there, tap them twice real quick and then use Kraken if you get it. Try to get as many people distracted and off of your teammates as possible so your teammates can take care of them while they're freaking out. You are invincible with the Kraken, so it's a great time to start freaking out players. Use the ink wall like so. Use both sides of it because, you know, it's not just one side. Both sides work for you. Just watch out for people throwing bombs at it because if someone throws a bomb at one side, it'll destroy uh, players on this side or that side. Um, if someone throws a bomb, quickly move to the other side so you can dodge it. I think this is definitely deserving of the third best weapon in Splatoon, just because of how fast it can obliterate people with a two-tap. Number two, the splash o -Matic. It has very good range, and it has amazing kill time. This weapon deserves two just because you can throw a balloon, or a burst bomb if you might want to call it, um, at the enemy, and then attack them really fast like that and be able to get your ink back very fast. This weapon is an amazing and destroys people in Anarchy and also regular Turf War. This weapon has Crab Tank, which, I mean, a lot of people love the Crab Tank. I'm not a huge fan of it, but if you can master the Crab Tank and be able to use it, then that's great. It's basically just a giant turret. Uh, what you want to do with this weapon is try to be very aggressive with it. Don't just stay back up on top of stuff, throw a balloon, and try to get them from far away. Run up to them, throw a balloon, and attack. 
that's all you have to do. It's extremely easy to learn. This weapon definitely deserves two, and it would have been one if there was just not one factor of crab tank. It's, it's just not the best weapon. Hate on me what you want, it's not. Number one, my favorite weapon in Splatoon, the Tenetech Splatter Shot. This thing has great range and also a bomb. This weapon is extremely easy to learn because it's basically just a regular splatter shot, which you've practiced a lot with, I'm sure, if you just started playing Splatoon. Uh, it has an amazing kit that helps it destroy enemy teams, which makes it the best weapon in Splatoon. You can throw the triple strike out there to destroy people and throw a bomb, which I like to do just right after the triple strike and right before it because you get your ink back after a special. It gives at least five things they have to dodge, which is pretty much impossible. Its kill time is amazing, and this weapon can be played extremely aggressively. I have a lot of pro Splatoon player friends that use this weapon, and it's... It's just an amazing weapon. It can destroy entire teams in Anarchy or just regular Turf War. If you're looking for an all-around best weapon in Splatoon to play, this is what you want to use right here. This is an amazing weapon. That is my top 5 favorite weapons in Splatoon ranked. I plan on doing more rankings on every single weapon in Splatoon in every category later in the series make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you love the content and like to support what i'm doing here uh this is a family friendly channel and it is definitely not going to disappoint you i promise make sure to stay tuned for more episodes playthroughs and tons more on nintendo in general thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next video goodbye